I think the biggest thing is just because I love to solve problems and I love to solve the real world problems. And I think the bigger the problem you face, the more rewarding it is when you get it right. And it's, it's quite a nice feeling when you know that it's actually making a difference in the real world as well. And Ruth, what's for you? I think it's a similar reason. I really like problem solving. And I like the idea that it's constantly changing. Like one day at work is never the same as the next. And as we discover new technologies and new innovations, it will continue to change. Yeah. So for me, it's the same as well. You know, I just love being part of building the future, where the future is going. And I am part of it. I am part of what the solution will look like in the future. So it, that's really, really exciting. And that the problem is never the same. And it's very challenging. It's really keeping me really, um, I said, excited all the time. Well, I am really proud to be a fellow of IET. And um, I have to say that on the way to achieve the fellowship, I did not really have any either issue or a problem. I just have a belief that I was in a time of my career that I have achievement which I can demonstrate and if I demonstrate I will obtain that fellowship. So that was okay but however I am definitely um, aware and I work in a sector which is being perceived as a male dominated sector that the female so my network the secret women's network is working on that to get female engineers to have this confidence and believe that the engineering is the career and there is the space for them there seeing example and seeing somebody being there is giving you or giving me confidence i can do it you know i'm not alone so yeah, there's something to be said about seeing someone who looks like you doing a job yeah. and then thinking that oh you know i can do that job yeah. I think the greatest challenge for us is basically facilitating that renewable energy change. And what we're doing is we're looking at the problems that that will cause and trying to solve all those problems. Like Eros said, it would be taking the problem with making sure we use renewable energy and turning that into a reality where we are using predominantly renewables. Yeah, I totally agree. For me, engineering is making reality come true. All zero carbon operation, all challenges of the climate change, we are the people and engineering is who is making that to happen, nobody else. If people cares about the climate change, engineering is one way to contribute to that. You can do personally as much as you can do, but the engineering is a key to achieve that. Why to be an engineer in ESO? Because we are in the heart of zero carbon operation for the future. We are those who are driving that and making sure that it happened. I think the key part in engineering is just if you're curious and have an open mind and you want to kind of get to the bottom of things, then you do really well in engineering. Exactly. I think there's a space for creative people in engineering as well. So it's all well and good being really good at maths and physics, but if you've not got an imagination, you can't shape the future because you can't imagine something that's not existing already. You yeah. can't build something that doesn't exist. So if we get the, the numbers wrong, so if we say that the UK is going to use a certain amount of electricity and they use less or they use more, that affects the generation because we need to try and make them match exactly, mm -hmm. otherwise the frequency goes wrong exactly, and yeah. bad things happen to the system. One of the of the advantages to work for National Grid ESO is this positive, supportive and empowering environment. I feel like these are a group of my friends and people which I'm coming every morning to have a chat with rather than somebody, some hard work which I need to do. So I would say that the environment is, is rather amazing and I hope that how we're going to grow and develop, we will maintain the good culture of that.